pushed into the torch a little bit. Now we're ready to basically start the feeding of the wire up through the gun. I've just plugged the machine into power. Um, before we actually feed the wire through the gun, we need to keep the gun as straight as possible. Now, obviously, for the demonstration here at the moment, I've got it back over the box, and it's reasonably curved. It's not, not really tight, but if you have it rolled up, near impossible to feed the wire through. Before we do that, we're going to take the nozzle off, the gas nozzle. I've got the machine off, and I'm taking the contact tip out. Contact's a very important part of the process, because that's where the power goes to the wire. So now it's going to make it easy when I turn the machine on to get the wire to come all the way through to here. So let's just pull that trigger. A little bit more tension. Just stop. I've wound the tension down a bit more. Seems to be going pretty good now. It takes a little minute to come through. I can feel it coming through the hand piece now. There we go. Okay, there the wire is. If we try to do that with the tip and the nozzle in, we're gonna have problems and it's gonna bind up inside the torch neck. We don't want that to happen. Gotta make sure that when you pick up this tip, it's actually marked on it that it's suitable for the same size wire. And that's got point zero, sorry, zero point eight on it which means it's suitable for this 0.8 wire as well. Screw it in, just nipped up with your pair of pliers. I'm using some Sigwell Weld School MIG pliers here at the moment, which are ideal for this purpose. And just put the nozzle back on, it's just a slip on nozzle, being very careful that when you put the nozzle on, that you don't stab yourself in the hand of the wire, okay? Then you can trim the wire, and we're nearly ready to start well. So we just set the machine up, got the wire through to the end of the mid gun through the tip and nozzle. And now we're going to talk about wire feed tension. It's a very important part of setting up a MIG machine. I pull that trigger, the wire comes out. Looks okay to me. However, it's very important we get the right tension. So if I put my glove on, by the way, I've, I've actually disconnected the earth clamp from this steel table and the, and the work area. So there's no chance of an electric shock. But if I hold that and pull the trigger, the wire's not coming out. So I haven't got enough tension. And there's a good way of actually checking the tension. So push a little bit, bend the wire around. And then I need something that's really well insulated. And I've got an old cutting board here I use in the workshop. And I want to make sure that I can get this wire coming out and binding up into a circle on this cutting board. Can't do it at the moment. It's not happening. So I've got to check the tension. So I move back to the machine. And I've got to roll the tension screw down. Probably gone about halfway there. And now I'm going to try it. Ah, look at that. Yeah. That is the right tension now, because I'm holding it on the wood which is insulated from the metal, and that's giving me what I need. We're ready to weld. 